Our next destination from Abha is Al Namaz. Al Namaz is a not so famous place, but today we are going to show the real beauty of this hidden gem. It takes a little more than a two hour drive to reach Al Namaz from Abha. And not to mention the way in between is really really beautiful. It has wonderful sceneries to offer, especially when we pass through uh, Bil Ahmar, Bil Asmar, and uh, yes, Tanuma. It has a very different kind of scenery with the mountains. So they are very captivating. During my trip, I, the way I most enjoyed was this from Abha to An Namaz. It's really beautiful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Right now we are in Namaz and this is evening 4.30 p.m. We are at a wonderful place and very beautiful place that is called Al Meghar village. Uh, there is a museum that's called a Namaz museum. You can see all around me they have decorated. And this is the main museum. You can see that. It's so beautiful, very well decorated, maintained and open for the tourists so let me walk you through all around and see how the museum looks like Strange thing that I have noticed here that there are Adhan and Maghrib but I can still see the sun and sun looks really really different. It looks like it is going inside a deep pit. You see it looks like a volcano mouth. Masha Allah, yes we are on the height, 2500 meters height. This is Namaz and the sun is setting but maybe yeah for the city or the uh, people who are living down there is already sun is gone but for us on the height we are still able to see the sun mashallah the work now it's gone it's timeless but not timeless nothing wow the sun is now going i don't know it's gone this is first time i've seen it this wow this is the You must be thinking that every place else including the pathways are so colorful but why the exterior walls of these great castles have been left unpainted. So there is an interesting story behind that. I later found out that when Mr. Maker has constructed this uh, masterpiece, he uh, was about to color all these walls but the people who visited here, they really really like it the way it was. So he was convinced that I should leave these walls unpainted. So until now they are grey and they really look magnificent and marvellous.
now we are entering into this building this museum here you have to get the ticket of 20 real and it's beautiful it's beautiful look at that this was in my home also when i was a child great this looks like a hall oh there are some precious stones or something oh rubble khali these are also old stones dharma bashikar al mukhtalif these are the stones from rubble khali the empty quarters used to be taking water to draw the water from the wells wow look at that it's beautiful beautiful i don't know how good to capture this but this looks amazing let's go upstairs so i was telling you that the thing that had been told to me by a guide here that the first light of sun when it rises it shines on this castle and they do not keep lights in the old times on the top room because the sunlight was enough to light the rooms wow. so this is the gallery or the room from where we can still see the sunlight yeah. in the city of Nemas or I think it's Wadi Al Khat. The place that you are seeing with the lights is Wadi Al Khat. And this is an amazing place because I can trust this story that the first sunlight ray will shine on this palace because even after the sunset for the rest of the world. We were still able to see the sun that was going down. Look, Look at that. And roofs are also very decorated roofs. So, ancient swords and the shell of tortoise it is used as a shield. This gentleman is a caretaker of this building and he is giving us some details. The construction of this building represents the virtues of Islamic culture and heritage. For example, there are 360 minarets in this castle that represents the exact number of days in an Islamic calendar. And there are seven doors to for entrance in this castle that represents the seven skies made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sun rises from this side, from the east. And it remains on the top of this castle all day long and makes it shining throughout the day until it sets. The sun and moon revolves around this building all the year. The whole construction is a beautiful representation of Islamic and Andalusian art. Other than that, the articles here in this building have a long history. For example, this stone is told to me that it is from the pre-Islamic era. And this stone has some Quranic verses engraved on it. So from where all these stones have been gathered, everything here has been gathered from within Saudi Arabia. This map dates back to pre-Ottoman Caliphate time, that is from the year 1100 to 1165, and this is 856 years old. Yes, this is 856 years old. And here is the Makkah, and here the Taif is shown. 
is there anything more you can tell about this place yeah this palace belongs to this noble person the name of this great man is Muhammad Ali Megur Ashari this person he invested 53 million real 20 years ago to construct this whole village and this museum well wow, that's a great amount now it calculates to approximately 80 million real in the present day is this guy alive now yeah this noble person is living on the top you can meet him wow this guy lives on top of it mashallah so the top portion is desert that's very nice of you thanks for your company see you again masalam i bet it's hard to not to be amazed by this place and stunning views surrounding this place an aspiring story of Mr. Muhammad al Mikar and especially the epic sunset. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel and do comment in the comment section. And see you in the next exciting vlog. Take care. Bye.